If you've centered the hydraulic disc brakes on your bicycle, but you're still getting brake drag, there are two possible reasons that we'll look at in this video, and I'll show you how to resolve it. The first one that we'll look at is a stuck piston. The other one that we'll look at is possible expansion of the brake fluid in your system. So especially with the DOT fluid, it can actually expand if it gets a little bit of moisture in, particularly if you live in a humid environment. And in the case of hydraulic fluid that is expanded, that is particularly problematic if you're putting in new brake pads, so you simply don't have enough space between the pad and the rotor, and that can cause brake drag. For both of the remedies that I'll show you in this video, we need to remove the wheel. And by the way, this will work on whatever type of bike you have, whether it's a road type brake system or a mountain bike hydraulic brake system. Next, we'll want to remove the brake pads and sometimes you'll have a little clip like this. So just pop that off, usually with a pair of needle nose pliers. And then typically you'll have a little bolt going through the brake pads. This one uses a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. So I'll take that out. I'll remove the brake pads and remember to not touch the surface of the brake pads, especially if you want to reuse these. Okay, with the brake pads removed, you can see the pistons here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the brake lever so you can see the pistons move, hopefully. Now, just a really word of caution here is you do not want to squeeze the brake lever too much so that the pistons will come out. You only want them to come out about two or three millimeters. Otherwise, they can pop out and that is a mess. So you can see the pistons kind of coming out. With this brake system, I've already fixed it but it, one of these pistons was actually stuck. So one would retract, the other one would stay out. And that was causing a lot of problems with the brakes dragging. So what you need to do is just take a tire lever and just push that piston back in. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to lubricate the seals by squeezing the brake levers, letting the pistons come out again about two or three millimeters, and then pushing them back in with a tire lever. And you wanna repeat that about let's say about six times. And what that's going to do is it's going to lubricate those seals. So again, pistons come out, let go of the brake lever, push the pistons back in. And this works whether you have brakes that use DOT fluid or mineral oil. So again, I repeat that about six times and that should take care of the stuck piston. Like I said earlier, the other reason you might have brake drag is the fact that the hydraulic fluid inside the system has expanded and that causes the pistons to not retract fully. And this can especially be a problem, like I said, when you're putting in new brake pads. So let's fix that. I'll show you the quick and easy way to do this and that is simply to remove the bleed port screw and relieve some of the pressure. Now you could do a complete bleed of the system and I'll link a video down below of how to do that. But in this case, all I'm gonna do is remove this bleed port screw and then I'm gonna relieve some of the pressure from the system. So like I said, this will work on any type of brake system, whether it's road, mountain, DOT fluid, hydraulic fluid. So in this case, this one just uses a Torx wrench and I've already got fluid coming out. So I know there's a lot of pressure in that system. Uh, I have gloves on because I'm working with DOT fluid, which you really have to do. You do not want to get DOT fluid on your skin. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a paper towel and soak up some of that DOT fluid that came out. Then I'm going to hold the paper towel over it, or you may have to have someone help you out with this, but I'm going to hold the paper towel over it. And then I'm just going to push those pistons back up inside with the tire lever. So just like I was moving the pistons back in, in the case of a stuck piston, now there's less pressure in the system so I can move those pistons back in. So I've got those pistons pushed all the way back in, holding the paper towel over the bleed port so that I don't get any leaking down the brake lever, wipe up any excess, and then we're just gonna reinstall the bleed port. And that's really all there is to it. Like I said, you can do a whole brake bleed and that will take care of it. And when you do the brake bleed, you wanna make sure those pistons are pushed all the way back in when you're done. So this does not have to be that tight, about two or three Newton meters. Now I've got a damp paper towel, which is water. You can also put some isopropyl alcohol on it and just wipe up any fluid that may still remain on the brake lever. And the water or isopropyl alcohol will neutralize any of the DOT fluid. And that's it. Now I'm gonna reinstall the brake pads. In this case, I'm actually putting in some new brake pads. So I've already got the spring installed between the brake pads. I'm just gonna push them in reinstall the little bolt that goes through. 
That just needs to be snug, does not have to be that tight. Push in the little safety clip and then reinstall the wheel and we'll center the brake pads after we get the wheel installed. So with the wheel installed, what you want to do is just pump the brake lever a few times. And when you first start doing it, the brake lever might come all the way to the handlebar. That's okay. Just pump it a few times. It'll build up pressure and spin the wheel. Fortunately, in this case, I don't have to center the brakes. But if you do have to center it, I'll link a video below of how to do it. And I recommend getting this little Burzman tool. This is so easy. You just slip it between the pads and the rotors. As always, questions or comments that you have about this video, drop those below. And like I said earlier, I'll put in the description below links to videos of how to bleed SRAM brakes, how to bleed Shimano brakes, and also how to center hydraulic disc brakes. And finally, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up for me if you don't mind, and consider subscribing if you would like to see more bike maintenance videos as well as ride videos and bike reviews. Thanks for watching.